Hey everyone, hope you are revising your class 11 portion with me without any problem. With that, let's move ahead to the next data type that is nothing but list. First of all, we will try to understand what is list, then we will perform the different operations on it. Just like string, we can slice list elements too. Followed by that, we are gonna discuss one of the important topics that is shallow copy and deep copy. And finally, we will get the knowledge of different functions and methods associated with list. Alright then, let's get started without further delay. List is very very important data type in Python because it is mutable. We can modify the content in place. So throughout the Python portion, we will be using list. Even data structure stack will be implemented using list. So if you are clear with the list, it is easy to understand stack. Elements of the list are enclosed in a square brackets. It contains mixed data which are separated by comma. Alright, let's take a small tour of list with the hope that you know how to create the list we are starting our tour. You can directly assign the elements of the list or you can use list constructor to create list from other sequence. Empty square brackets means it's a empty list. Here are some of the example in which we are demonstrating how to create the list from the other sequence. If you wish to enter the elements of the list, use eval function along with input function. What about accessing the individual elements of the list? It is exactly same as string because we use index. Here are the basic operations that we will be performing on list. Traversing the elements of the list is same as string. Here we will iterate over the elements of the list. If you want to join two lists, concatenation operator also works in the same way to join two different lists into a single list. But both the operands should be of data type list. This replication operator also works in the same way as string. And here is the important concept. This is important in case of string, list as well as tuple. We already discussed it in the video of string. With the hope that you are clear with it, let's move ahead. This is also one concept related to list that is shallow copy and the deep copy. When we assign the value and create one copy of the list, in that case both the list will be same. If you will change in one list, it will reflect to another. But if we create deep copy with the use of list constructor, then the two lists are different lists. If you will change in one list, it will not reflect in other one. Alright, here is the list of the functions and methods associated with the list. With the help of these functions and methods, task will be very easy. Out of all these functions and methods, append method is the most important method. Alright then, let's revise them in short. The first method is index method. It gives the index of first match elements of the list. 30 in this list is at the index 2. So we got 2. It will give the first match. That's why we are not getting the index of this next 30 element. Note that if element doesn't exist in the list, it will fire the exception value error. Now look at the most important method. Append method adds an atom at the end of the list. Note down the syntax, it will take only one element and it will append at the end of the list. Look at the example, here is the list, we are trying to append grapes to the list and it got added at the end. As list is mutable, it will change the original list, that's why it will return no value, we need to print the original list. Extend method also adds the item at the end of the list, but here you can add multiple items, that's why it takes a whole list. Here is the first list and here is the second list. Look at the output. First list followed by the second list. Second list got appended to the first list. We check two method append and extend but both these methods are adding element at the end. But if you want to add at the specific index then you will be using insert method. That's why we are providing index and the item. Look at this example. We want to add this O at the index 3. When we check output, it got added and the element at that position got shifted to the next position. In this way, with these three methods, we can add the element to the list. Now let's check out how to delete it. For that, we can use pop method. This also you need to keep in mind because we will be using in the data structure stack. By default, it removes the last item. But if you provide the index, the specified element will get deleted. In this example, we are trying to delete the item which is at the index 2. So when you will print the list, this item will not exist. 
pop method returns the value if you will print it you will get the deleted item because in future if you need that deleted item you can store it in a variable by default it will delete the last item along with pop we have remove method it removes the first occurrence of the given item in case of pop we provide index but in case of remove we need to provide value as we know what we need to delete that's why it will not return anything we provided e that's why it got deleted when we will print the list you got to know that there is no existence of the element e again make a note of it if item doesn't exist you will get exception value error using exception handling we handle this type of exceptions along with pop method and remove method we have one more option that is del statement look at the syntax it is a statement not a function and not a method the advantage of using del is we can remove the elements by specifying the range with del statement we need to provide the index if you want to delete the range you will be mentioning the start and stop if you don't mention anything it will completely remove the elements along with that object that's why when we are trying to print it we are getting exception name error it means the list one doesn't exist here is the first form of del statement we are providing index it is clear from the output that the element at the index 2 got deleted in the second example we are providing the range accordingly the elements will get deleted we discuss three different options to delete the element from the list first one is pop in case of pop we need to provide index whereas in case of remove method we need to provide value the third option is del statement here also we need to provide index but there is one more arrangement that is clear method clear method will delete all the elements of the list but the object will exist that is only the difference between del and clear it removes the elements along with that list object but clear method will delete only element and the empty list will exist if you will print it you will get empty list clear method doesn't take any parameter because it deletes all the elements here is the count method we even use it in case of string it counts the item occurrence 40 is present three times in the list here is one more method name is reverse it will reverse the items of the list here is the given list if you will reverse it you will get the elements in the reverse direction all right we are at the last method it is sort sorting means arranging the elements in a particular order ascending or descending look at the parameter this is optional if without any parameter you are applying sort method on the list then it will sort the elements in the ascending order but if you need to sort it in the descending order then you need to write reverse equals to true look at the output we got the elements in the descending order here is the summary of the different operations that we are performing on the list we can append the elements for that we have two methods append and extend append method will append a single element whereas extend will append a list of elements for inserting the element at the specified location we have insert method if you want to modify or update the element in the list then directly you will be assigning the value using index here are some of the options to delete an element using pop remove del function if you want to delete all the elements we have clear method too and if you want to sort the element we can use sort method generally on any data structure we perform this operation we add the element we delete the element we can modify or edit the element other than that we generally search and sort the elements of the data structure it's time to wrap up the video now we are confident about the list and to grab all the marks which will be based on list we will be practicing questions in the next video in case of any doubt let me know in the comments below until next time stay motivated keep studying i will see you in the next video